What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. And today we're going to cover Shopify Analytics versus Google Analytics. We're going to cover all the details in terms of what they're good for, if you need both, the pros and cons of each, because as we know, analytics are very important for your e-commerce store. It's really important to understand your customers, your sales, your repurchase rate, your conversion rate. All those can be answered with both of these solutions, but we're going to show you which is better for each. But before we get into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. To start, we're going to go through Shopify Analytics and go through the pros and cons of it. So to find it, you go to your Shopify homepage, then you want to click on Analytics on the left, and it's going to give you the dashboard. This is the main dashboard for Shopify Analytics, and it's going to show you a good overview of how your store is performing. You have things like total sales, online store sessions, returning customer rate, and your online conversion rate. It also gives you some good metrics such as your average order value, where sessions came from, which products sold the most. And overall, it gives you a really good understanding of how your business is performing without getting into too many detailed reports and without having to configure those reports yourself. The pros of Shopify Analytics are that it's very easy to use and it requires no additional setup from you because Shopify has already done all that work on their end. There's no need to add any Google Analytics code or anything like that. It's really good for giving you an overview and gives you the essential data you need to run your Shopify business. The cons, however, of the Shopify Analytics dashboard is that there's no ability to really drill down into any of these metrics. You can view these reports and get sessions over time, for example, but there's no ability to compare it with other sources of traffic and really combine these complicated reports to give you good insight into how your customers are coming to your store and how they're acting on your store. Another drawback of Shopify Analytics, if you go to the online store sessions in the bottom right, they're not always the most accurate. You can start to see large discrepancies with this data with Google Analytics, and overall Google Analytics is a more robust tracking solution, so you trust those analytics more. So as mentioned, Shopify Analytics is quite basic overall, but it gives you some essential insights into your business in terms of how it's performing. And it's a good starter point, especially when you're starting out. And it's really good to get a familiarity with these metrics as it gives you an indication of how your business is performing. So if we scroll over to Google Analytics here, as you can see from the dashboard, it has a lot more metrics and a lot greater ability to drill down into terms of what you're searching. For example, if you wanted to get a question answered, such as which devices users are coming from, you can go down to mobile and go down to devices and get a good breakdown of the percentages from desktop to mobile to tablet. Overall, there's a lot of detail in Google Analytics and it's really good for answering those key questions, such as where traffic came from, how did they interact with your website, which pages did they visit, in which order did they visit those pages. There are a ton of questions you can answer with Google Analytics. It requires some know-how in understanding how to format these reports and where to access them. Some of the really good reports you can generate are segmenting by traffic channel. So if you were to get an example here, you can see where all your users came from, the revenue generated by each traffic channel, such as email, CPC, referral, organic, and it gives you the conversion rate on top of that, as well as the average order value. You can add more details to these reports too, but it just gives you a really good idea of where customers are coming from and you can get an idea of which marketing channels are the most profitable. Another good report is segmenting by day of the week. This shows you which days have the highest conversion rate for your store. I know with my own Shopify store, it was Tuesdays that seemed to be a good conversion rate for me. So on those days, I increased my ad spend for Google AdWords on those days to try to get more traffic. For whatever reason, there was an increase in the conversion rate and I wanted to capitalize on that. Another great way to use Google Analytics is to segment your funnels by traffic source. As you can see in this example here, you can get a really good idea of which traffic sources are performing the best in your funnel. You can see where there are hiccups and maybe where there are customers dropping off. And you can try to make improvements there to improve it. The pros of Google Analytics are that it gives you very detailed reporting in what you want to learn about your customers. This can give you key insights into terms of how your customers behave, giving you a better ability to target them online, whether that's through ads, finding new interest through Google Analytics. It could be in terms of age or gender, which will give you a better idea of who to target. Another thing you could do would to see which countries are the most profitable. You can see, let's say the United States, for example, has a really high conversion rate, so it might justify spending a higher percentage of your ad costs there. The cons of Google Analytics are that it can be a little overwhelming at first. You might want to look at a few videos online to get an understanding of which reports you can generate in Google Analytics, how to generate them, 
and which ones are the best for Shopify merchants. The other con is that it does take an extra step to set up, but I assure you it's well worth it to get set up as there's so many details you can find about your customers and how you can improve your Shopify store overall. So overall, Shopify analytics versus Google analytics, you should have both. You should definitely be looking at both on a consistent basis to give you an understanding of your business at any point in time. Shopify analytics is much more basic, but requires no setup, whereas Google analytics requires a little handholding along the way as you need some research and some understanding of how to generate those reports. But overall, it can give you some very detailed metrics and understanding of your customers and a better understanding of your Shopify store. And from there, you can make many improvements overall based on those findings. Overall, this concludes the video on Shopify analytics versus Google analytics. If you like this video, I love if you can smash that like button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.